Hi folks, this is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. I'm with you here today to kick off a video we've made recently up at our place up in the north part of the uh, foothills of North Carolina where we have trees and forests and have recently discovered the concept of forest farming which actually includes a plant that I've been very familiar with having grown up in West Virginia called ramps or wild leeks. They're a member of the onion family and they pop up just after the snow melts all over the forest floor and they need certain conditions that we're trying to replicate and produce our own crop homegrown of ramps. So tune in and have fun watching. After doing a lot of research on the topic of planting ramps and cultivating them, we set out the first day to find some ideal locations. We're in the woods here on a slope and Nikolai is kicking away some of the ground to make sure that it is nice and rich in organic material. This is really one of the ideal places. It's under a heavy canopy. So the very next day we got our tools and our amendments and everything we needed to do a proper job of planting the ramps. Howdy folks, this is Coleman Alderson and Nikolai Alderson here for GardensAll.com. We're talking about getting into forest farming this year. And one of the first things we're going to be setting out are these the uh, ramps that we've kind of grown uh, fond of, even though we've never actually eaten them. Being from West Virginia, I am uh, quite familiar with ramp dinners and, and all that. But it turns out it looks like they can easily be grown in our 7A, that's our zone, in our 7A woodland here. You can see we're on something of a slope and site selection is pretty important. You want to have an open canopy during the winter time, which means uh, not under any sort of evergreen, but you do want to have this cover over when it leaves out and offer almost maximum shade. These plants do not like to get burned up and uh, it's interesting. We can explain more about them being ephemeral because they leaf out in early spring and then when the shade comes over they just cease to thrive and eventually the leaves die back and you wouldn't even know there's a plant there. But we found a place that has some beautiful moss growing and it has a bit of a drain right through here coming down off the hill and a sort of a natural little dam that we're going to use we'll be planting right right in this zone. We don't have a lot to plant today but we're going to at least get them set out and we will be supplementing as we go along, we'll explain that, what we'll be putting on the ground here before we actually plant. So stay tuned. We're starting here. We have this natural kind of dam happening with this log laying down. It has a little depression that we're going to fill up with some nice dirt. But first, we begin by raking off the top cover of leaves, which, by the way, this is the absolute best kind of mulch you can put on top of lamps. They just love it. It's, it's very natural to them to be covered over in leaves. Now, vegetable ramps or ramp vegetables like a nice moist soil, and I'm just kind of digging down in here, and you can see how loamy, it's got a lot, a lot of organic material, and what we're going to do is lay in some more layers of our own soil, organic, um, organic raised bed soil that we use in our garden. I'm going to mix in some black cow cow manure but this this is beautiful composted leaves here and uh, it's moist we expect because of the way it's draining here it will remain moist and uh, this is what this is what ramps really love so we're going to be at it in just a moment here are the three amendments we're adding to our planting bed black cow cow manure, organic raised bed planting mix, and garden gypsum, which is basically calcium. And the ramps thrive on calcium. Okay, so now we're, we're mixing in the ingredients we've added, the amendments, which include the raised bed soil mix, the organic stuff, some black cow 
cow manure and a pull bag, six pounds of gypsum and uh, from Espoma, by the way. So we're getting this really rich mixture in here, trying to give these plants the best start. Calcium is great. They love calcium. Uh, it, it's gonna really help them set their roots and grow leaves and all that. So we're, we're going down right into the soil level that we started with, mixing it in so everything will be blended in pretty well. And you'll see, this is a natural dam. Water is running down and right to here. It's coming down right through here and being blocked by this log laying down. So the water still sort of seeps through and is gonna run through here. We're gonna be adding some stones right in at the base of this, okay? And maybe a few stones here near the, near the front end. But this is our plan and we're sticking to it. So now we're at the stage we're replacing rocks and we're going to build this little rock dam to help retain the moisture because plant vegetables love having moist feet, not necessarily wet feet, but they definitely don't like dry feet. So we're working on it to, to keep this area that we've dug up and now we've set in some amendments. Now we're working at helping to keep this area moist by damming up the, uh, the flow a bit. Okay, well here we are at the perfect moment. We've uh, got the soil all mixed in. It is lovely looking. Who wouldn't want to grow a plant in here? What plant wouldn't want to grow in here? And here are the ramps we ordered in from uh, West Virginia. We'll send a link up there on, on the site and you can of course visit their site and check them out. But what we have here is a typical ramp bulb and it has this little shoot. This little shoot's gonna come up out of the ground and in about a couple months actually it'll start showing, we hope. And these are all nice and moist and looking green. They even have that odor. <laughs> we left them in the, in the truck for a while and we could smell them just traveling up here. But um, we're gonna set these down right to where the tip is just sticking out. So it'll be about, about this deep. Make sure these roots are covered up and the soil level will be right about here, okay? And then we're gonna cover it all with leaf mulch, the same leaf mulch we raked off of here in the beginning. So we'll, um, we'll show you how to do a quick one here. Just going down. Bit right into the right in the original soil and setting it in and very carefully making sure that we have this tip sticking out all right now these get planted we could do them tightly we could do them like three inches apart um, we could do them further spaced apart but I'm um, we have about 24 so I'm figuring we'll get most of these in here and space them about three inches apart in, in this area. If it turns out we've um, still got space left over, well, we have more ramps on the way. So it's all good. And um, this is the way we're, we'll be setting them in here. Just a nice little jab with the, the trowel and setting it in just like that. I have a handful here, so it can be a little bit of a process. Quick and make sure they're pointed up and the little tip sticking out. And that's what we'll be doing. Stand by. Okay, so here we are. We planted these, uh, these guys with just the tip sticking up. And it's a pretty solid bed in here. I was surprised. They actually, the guy we bought them from actually gave us a bonus number, like double or something, because we wound up planting, how many would you guess? More than 24. Definitely more than 24, more like 40. Yeah. Something yeah. like that, Definitely. which is always cool. And uh, I didn't even mention I was from West Virginia, so that was that was really nice of the guy. But um, this will be the last time we actually see these little heads poking up for a while because we are going to cover this entire bed with leaf mulch. And you won't see these fellas until, well, maybe end of February into March. And then hopefully 
we're going to see them come up. Now, folks, this is a long-term project. Uh, we're talking in like three to five years down the road that these will be pretty much um, harvestable. We can pick a few leaves the first season, second season, maybe a few more, but three to five years to let these guys grow is, uh, is what we need to do. And we're mighty glad to be able to do it because um, it's an important crop and uh, it has a lot of great nutritive values, even medicinal values they're finding out. So we're very pleased to put our canopy, our, our forest area into production. So that's it for GardensAll.com. We'll touch base as these uh, as as these uh, guys shoot up through the uh, through the leaves. That'll be an exciting day when we discover that. So stay. Well, after covering up the whole bed, it doesn't look like much took place here. We planted in our plants, and we're ever hopeful that in years to come we'll have a patch of our own, our very own ramps that will look like this and we'll be able to harvest them and able to share them and able to show everybody how well they performed. So you guys, uh, if you have any interest in growing ramps, let us know. Send us a message on Facebook and also please be sure to subscribe to this channel. This is Colvin Alderson for GardensAll.com. Thanks.